All right, Pixel experience for the Poco X3 Pro, K20 Pro, Mi 11X, no matter what device you talk about, they have been doing a great job of transitioning you from maybe MIUI, EMUI, whatever UI you want to talk about, to AOSP-based Pixel-esque experience, and that is the reason we are talking about it yet again. Now, this, of course, is not the Android 12 version. We are talking about the stable Android 11 update with the latest November security patch and the latest changes and fixes that they have done. So I installed Pixel Experience on the Poco X3 Pro, also known as YU and Bhima. Yesterday, I tested gaming, battery backup, charging, and all sorts of things to bring you guys this particular review. Let's go ahead and check out what this particular update has to offer for this one Wonderful device. Now, before we get into the details, well, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because hey, it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than a thousand people over there with similar devices. They can help you, they can give you ideas about new ROMs and stuff. So, join us there. Definitely follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are mentioned in the description. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so let's see what we have here. Pixel Experience Plus Official. Android 11 updated recently on the 18th of November 2021. You have downloads, screenshots, donate, support. Device change log says November security patch, updated translations, SE Linux status is enforcing. Safety net passes out of the box. Ships with G apps, of course. And the suggested firmware is 12.0.4.0 because of the breaking debacle. Remember that, right? So we will not get into the changelog details over here, but please go ahead and support these developers if you can, as I always say. So Pixel Experience, we're not going to get into the details because we've covered this ROM a lot of times. We'll talk about things what matter, including gaming, right? So basic UI, Android 11 with the Google search bar at the bottom, your standard Pixel-esque wallpaper. To the left, you have the beautiful Google feed. Now I have set this device to 120 Hertz always on. It will give me less battery backup, but that's the way I prefer to use my devices, right? So very, very smooth. Google feed working absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. And if you talk about the launcher over here, you have the basic Pixel experience launcher. And then you have your Android 11 widgets, which have been working fluid as always, and styles and wallpapers. You don't have monitor, of course, because this is Android 11, but you do have some customization, which can help you to get a better feel of your device. As you can see over here, I definitely prefer the squircle look. And if you talk about the quick tiles, well, you have screencast, screen record, and a few additional options over here. As you can see, you do have cafe and reading mode, and all the other things are available and they work absolutely fine. If you want to know how good the screen recording on this de device on this ROM is, well, wait till the end of the video when I'll be playing the gameplay that I recorded on this particular device. Now, let's actually go to settings over here and let's go to about, let's go to Android version 11. This is the perf kernel that we have, November security patch, Android version is 11 as always. Right now in pixel experience, you don't really have a lot of customization. That's not the idea of this particular ROM. So if you go to gestures, you have some basic gestures over here, right? And you do have swipe to screenshot, which works absolutely fine. So pixel experience being pixel experience, giving you very basic, smooth and fluid experience. And the UI has been rock solid, no stutters, no jitters. The camera, which we get is a very, very basic camera application. You can go ahead and install Gcam. That will give you a better experience, I'm pretty sure, right? The FPS meter that you see over here is from Franco Kernel Manager. So I had to root this particular device for recording the gameplay for you guys. So we do have a ton of screenshots. So one by one, we'll talk about all the performance uh, you know, numbers. So first thing that we have over here is the battery backup, right? Now you do see that I charged the phone one day back and it's sort of not reflecting the battery backup correctly. So you can see the battery life over here in AccuBattery. It's very decent, good battery life. You will get easily six to seven hours of screen on time. That's what I have been getting. 
So the charging speed has been really great. The battery backup has been really amazing on this particular ROM. But let's talk about other things that actually matter to us. Things like safety net. We have to test them, right? So before I rooted, safety net was passing by default. Wideband 11 is certified, so you will not have any problems playing your HD content. Even uh, the Play Store is device certified, so no problems there whatsoever. Now let's have a look at the benchmark numbers real quick. So first we will have a look at the CPU throttle test over here. CPU throttle to 93% of its max performance. Okay, average score is 175, 563 GIPS. This is a perf kernel, so don't really expect a lot of performance, but it's a decent performer. You will see that in the gameplay. No problems there. Let's talk about Geekbench over here real quick. 765 single core, 2529 multi core. Low multi core score, but excellent single core score for the Poco X3 Pro powered by the Snapdragon 860. And N22 is 572,510. So the benchmark scores are a little low, but trust me, the UI is smooth. The battery backup is great. You can definitely flash this and forget that you have a custom ROM. It works absolutely fine. Now let's quickly have a look at the gameplay real quick. All right, so as far as gaming is concerned, it's constantly giving you more than 75 to 80 FPS, which is really a good thing, even in hot drops like Sanok Bootcamp. All in all, Pixel Experience latest update is stable as ever. It comes with the November security patch. Nothing to write home about as far as the benchmark numbers is concerned. The reason I do this particular review every month is because for you guys who use this device as a work phone as well, if you want a custom ROM, you hate MIUI, flash Pixel Experience and forget it. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this quick review. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.